when your son enter in the place people must not even ask if he's your son because he will reflect you you know when my daughter was here during the holidays I never said to anyone this is my daughter. But people just seeing her. They saw me. Resemblance. Who do you resemble in your life? If you don't have the relationship with Jesus, you'll never resemble him. You tend to become more like people that you spend time with. The reason why you reflect Satan is because you spend more time with the things of Satan. Ask your neighbor. Who do you resemble? Sometimes I will be in a meeting and I will, I will fight myself because you are amongst professionals and you are busy saying Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. It comes out without your permission. I want you to go and do a personal study. You need to study yourself to check how you behave and know where you get it from. You know, know somebody <laughs> swear. He doesn't even have to remind himself. He just swear like a machine. Because that's what is inside. <laughs> he wants to be the farthest outside. And we're drinking cold drink. I'll be sitting amongst them. <laughs> and we'll talk about general things. And they don't know at that time I am busy studying them and what is inside them. The other one speak that the big weight and I just look and I keep quiet. Because we don't have relationship with God. We fail to withstand the heat that comes with Christianity. Ah. They don't hear me. Christianity walks hand in hand with fire. If you are not in a relationship, fire will push you out of the house. You listen to me? Christianity and fire walks side by side. If you are not married to God by relationship, the fire that comes with Christianity will burn you out of the house. The reason why God allows fire, heat, pressure, to walk side by side with Christianity is because God want to separate the impurities. Christianity will never be easy. Can never be easy. It is not easy because God doesn't want cockroaches hiding under carpet. 
doom weekend, when doom entered, Mafela Balia, Cockroach ran away. Motukena Kayemelang, doom, and Namon Kowa doom. It's a cockroach. Yeah, a person can stand, but not the cockroach. Oh, they don't hear me. Gold, Hauda, and fire, Limulo. Are twins. Fire has not been sent to destroy gold, but it has been sent to make gold better because it separates the impurity. When you throw gold inside fire, it understands it is not unto death, it is not. Punishment, but it is a blessing because it brings refinement. Did you hear me? Oh, Nambi, people Nambi will hear me. Oh, Nambi, people Nambi will hear me. When you have a relationship with Jesus, when you are born again, and life becomes tough, after you are born again, if you have a relationship with Jesus, you stay because you know that this heat has not been sent to destroy me, but it has been sent to remove the impurities. That's why the more you pray, the more life becomes difficult. Hey! The more you seek the face of God, the more things become upside down. The more you live right, the more things become difficult. The more the manager gives you, hey, everything will work against you. But it's only for a season because Jesus doesn't want you to be blessed together with impurities. Jesus want to make sure that when you enter into your canon, every sin, every object of Egypt have died on the road because Jesus doesn't want Egypt to enjoy milk and honey. Hey! I can't wait for Namibia. Something is turning in the spirit. God wants to make sure that anything that does not belong to him in you dies in the process. That's why he leaves you inside fire. Fire is not punishment. It's a blessing. But you can never know that until you have relationship with the Holy Ghost. I've realized something. When I came to Sunrise, and they started calling me names, there was a time they were planning a strike. They were even telling my congregants that, tell your pastor we are coming to burn the church. We are also coming to burn him. And I asked the Lord, why did you allow me to go through this? I wanted to make sure that fear does not have place in you when I usher you to the world. Those who were here, remember what I said when people were saying they are coming to bend the church. I said, Tell them I'm waiting. Remember that? You can't understand how God works except if you have a relationship with God. 
water cannot understand the affairs of fire. They are in the feminine. There are things hidden to those who are not sons and daughters. That's what Jesus said. He said, when we are amongst the people of the world, we speak in parables so we may confuse them. But when we are amongst sons and daughters, we speak plainly because some of the secrets abound in relationship. <laughs> hey! You can't tell a stranger when you get paid and how much you get paid anyway because it is a classified information. It is only for people that have a bond with you. If, if somebody tells you how much did they pay, you must know this person have a relationship with you and they trust you. Except if as a say beef. And that person maybe somebody somebody a doctor. That person needs a doctor. But if somebody can come to you, this is how much I get. Or at And it comes to you and say, I'm sick. It's where you want to three. You must know that there is a special bond between you and this person. They trust you to disclose. You can't stand in a ring and say, It's where you get flu. It's where you get flu. It's where you get mouth. Fever, 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 fever. Eh? Okay, who can go to the taxi rank and tell people? I'm HIV positive. I have cancer. Can you do that? And the taxi rank. You never do that. But to the people that you have relationship with, you tell them, I'm sick. That's why when you have problems in your marriage, you don't just tell anyone that you meet in the text. Hey, hey, we fight yesterday with my wife. was choking me. I take a water and I pour you it on me. You don't do that. Hey, hey. You tell it to people that you have relationship with. That's how God works. The reason why you don't understand God and Christian affairs is because you don't have a relationship. Those who have a relationship with God, they know God, they know Jesus beyond what is written. <laughs> hey, listen. Other Christians, they only know God by what they have read in the scriptures. But there is other types of Christians who know Jesus beyond what is written. If you know God only by what is written, you are like someone who reads the newspaper. About the person that the newspaper is wrote about. Eh? <laughs> You read about Ramaphosa on newspaper does not mean you know him. There are people who know Ramaphosa beyond what is written. Jesus wants us to know him beyond what is written. There are mysteries and facts that are hidden to the people of the world but to and they are not written in the scripture <laughs> you don't know listen God knows and he knew that even people who don't believe in him will read the Bible even his enemies will read the Bible even Muslims even atheists will read the Bible to fight Christianity and to confuse the people of God. There are things that are written in, that are not written in the Bible for sons and daughters. 
are mysteries. They are not there. Oh, newspaper readers, look at that. There are things that are Christian wise which are not in the scripture. They are in the mouth of the Holy Ghost. You only get to know this thing when you come closer to the Holy Ghost and he starts to tell you there is another portion of the Bible that is not written by him. It's in the hands and the mouth of the Holy Ghost. If, if you know God, I think that is written in the Bible. You are a newspaper reader. Your knowledge about him is short. That's why there are things that they do. They confuse about that they confuse other pastors. They don't understand. This thing, this thing after all this you hear them out they say the pulpit. I've never seen God. You see what? You see what? Because I have a relationship with the Holy Spirit. There are the revelation of using miracle water is only for men that have relationship with God. The relationship of using miracle stickers, of using race bands, are hidden from people who don't have relationship with God. I see pastors criticizing them. They are exposing their weakness. What is their weakness? I am not linked with God. Listen to me. Miracle stickers. Race bands. Miracle water. When it has been spoken to. When it has been blessed. Miracle oil. When it has been blessed. Even the fault of the man of God. It has power. That is above the power of the enemy. They don't know this thing because this thing are hidden to people that are skeptical. But only by what is written. They know God about things that is written because they don't have a relationship. Yes, These things are working. Don't let them discourage you that you have a stick of a man of God. It works because there is a power linked to that stick that can save your life in accident. I saw another testimony in Nigeria. Nigeria. The woman had a stick of sinner prophet. They've got restaurants restaurant that are in a chain. Fire bent all the restaurant on this side. He jumped her restaurant and bent the ones that are inside. Hers was preserved because there was a miracle stick. What kind of power is this that is resting on a stick? How many Christians have I seen? If they talk it, they don't know it. I saw another one on Facebook. Oh, when on Facebook. Oh. Be easy, criticize, that man has been criticized. Look at the pampas. A pampas is falling. Pampas, yeah. Pulpit is not for children. Pulpit is it's for people that are mature yeah, in the spirit. To be mature in the spirit does not mean you will have grey beard. There are men out there. They the white that's why I criticize. They don't know God. Spiritual maturity has nothing to do with age. The Bible says they came to Prophet Elisha. They said to him, Prophet, prophet as you can see, this is a good land. But the problem that we have, the land is barren. 
person cannot produce anything because of water. The Bible says, Elisha said to them, Bring me the salt. Bring me the bowel. He took the salt. He went to the water. He took the salt out and spoke to the water that from today you are cured from barrenness. From that day until today, the land has been healed. The Bible says, When the children of Israel were in the desert, they arrived in a certain place. The water was undrinkable. They said to Moses, There is no water. They started murmuring. The prophet of God took a branch of a tree, he threw it inside water. Water changed and became sweet. He had a revelation. I believe at that time there were people in the camp of Israel who were calling Moses' names. Why did he take a branch to put it in the water? Why did he just pray in the name of God? Revelation. We be Sabuloi. We call it a witch. Because how no mudin. Because don't have God. How we shall we hang in? We don't understand. Because Kiabara. Because it's for the children. In the Bible, the Bible says there was a time when they were carrying a dead man from war. When they saw soldiers, they ran away. The body of a dead man fell inside the grave and he touched the bones of Elisha. A dead man rose to life by touching the bones and he rose and started to run too. He was raised to life by touching bones. What kind of witchcraft? Is this. When you don't know God, you will call it names. When you don't have a relationship with Jesus, you will call it witchcraft because this thing is for sons and daughters, it is hidden from you. Call it whatever you call it. What men don't know, they call names. What they know, they destroy. Jesus Christ came on earth. When he arrived, he did things that look weird in the eyes of the normal people, in the eyes of the Pharisees, in the eyes of the Sadducees, in the eyes of the Jews, what Jesus was doing looked weird. It looked like witchcraft because these people did not have relationship with God. The Bible said, they said to Jesus, wine has ran out at the wedding. He said to the people, fill up the jars with water. And he said, take a little bit, give it to the master of the wedding. When the master tasted, he said, hey! From the beginning to the end, you have been serving the best one. What kind of power is this? If you don't know relationship, you would have called Jesus' name. A man come, but and he say he can't see. Jesus spit in his eyes. Took soil, he mixed it. He said, "Go and wash." If Jesus was one of the current pastors, prophets of this age. The community was going to rise up and they will want to burn him. Because what he's doing is not known to them. When we rely only on what we read to conclude Christianity, we will miss God. 
to make things worse. Look at Moses. The Bible says the children of Israel were being beat by snakes. God said to Moses, put a pole. Design a snake with bronze. Put a snake on top. When these people are being beat by snakes, when they look at the snake on the bronze, they will become healed. If Moses was living in this generation, we are going to call him a witch. Because we don't have a relationship with God. He sees people they are busy talking about next year. Is in Ham, in what is it? Harangua. Okay, Harangua. Or over there, no hammer pulpit. That he put a snake in the pulpit. A, a plastic snake on the pulpit. No, I have a plastic. They don't know the revelation behind what he's doing because they are blind Christians who don't have a relationship with God. They say they're Satanists. Are Moses in a Satanist? Are Moses was a Satanist? They think of God. This is a relationship. They need a relationship. Men who have relationship with God, they will continue to do things that are shocking, that even violate your conscience. And yet, it's, a, it's, a, it's an instruction of God. This ones who are called by God are not normal. They will not be normal. And they don't want to be to fit in the normal community. That's why we call them names. Because we don't know Jesus. The Bible says Paul, Paul through the handkerchief people were healed. You don't know. There's another woman who bought a miracle sticker from my ministry. Her business was stuck. Completely. She has not even said her food in her ministry. She sent someone to buy a sticker. She was selling clothes. She bought a sticker. She stays in Morocco. The day when she put the sticker under the clothes, she ran out of stock the same day. She went to stock again. The same thing happened. And it has never happened before. They, they, there was another one. She was sick. On bed. Lying on bed in Morocco. Somebody went with a sticker. They gave it to my brother-in-law. He's around about eight years. Imagine there's no man of God there. The boy took the sticker. Throw it on the woman. She manifested. She moved like a snake. She became delivered. When she stood up, she could walk. I'm talking about someone that has been on bed for days. What do you call that? Is it also witchcraft? Call it whatever you call it. But I know it's the power of God. That is at work. That is hidden from normal people. People who don't have a relationship. That's how they criticize again. You know that they talk. Why would they see these stickers and that talk about? Why, 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 why are a lot of stickers of this man? Why is like you are praying? That is a contact point. He's the anointed of God. Listen to this. The children of Israel, they lamented for 400 years. They cried for 400 years that God must come and save them. Amongst them, there are those who are God never did that. 
God took Moses and anoint him and said, Go. When, God, when Moses arrived, they fought him because God came in the flesh. When Moses entered Egypt. It was God Himself entering Egypt. That's why they never believed Him. They started to reject what they prayed for. Because it came with a different package. God, He will bring what you have been praying for, but it will come under a different package. Oh my God, you have been praying that God must intervene in sunrise, must send a man in South Africa, and he has sent prophet alone, and you can't see him. You say he's a boy. You want me to have grey beard? <laughs> oh my God. Hey, let me put it like this. You've been praying for the grace that is at school to come to South Africa. God has sent a road and you reject it because he's a young man. Hey, hey, hey. Eh? God, I want to go to school. Would you go to school? I want to go and see TB Joshua. Okay, I, TV Joshua. I don't have money. God raises another TB Joshua in South Africa. You can't Africa. see him. You can't see him because he's a young man and he's not famous. I'm not famous. That's why you doubt me. The time when you can't reach me is the time when you say, yeah, is the same. <laughs> Let me leave you. What will confuse you? What you pray for will come in a different package. Jesus confused the Jews. He was born in a poor family. That's why they never accepted him. Remember what the other one said. He said, Nathan, he said what good can come out of Nazareth? <laughs> oh my God. You are going to miss the train. The devil will frustrate you to push you out of where God wants you to be. That's why people don't want you to come here. That's why people pastors are fighting you that you mustn't come here because because they know this is where God wants you to be. Why do you think many pastors, they don't want people to come here? They talk bad about me. Everything I do, they criticize. They criticize the building, they criticize the location, they criticize how I walk, they criticize that I'm here. They even criticize that I'm being ushered when I come to church. Because they want you to leave. So that you can miss your thing. 